what is up guys this is do work uh, from one hive invicta slash one hive 2.0 uh, I am back with another short version of uh, of hog riders uh, today I'm with a clan uh, pure pure back uh, I think that's how you pronounce that I'm not entirely sure they're an Austrian clan uh, this is kind of a special hog rider series uh, I'm here with these guys um, and we are actually about to uh, start off an arranged war with these guys uh, on Friday here. Uh, I, you know, we've got we keep in contact with a, a bunch of people from a, a bunch of different clans, um, and I had somebody from uh, Crystal Warrior reach out, um, and they put a lot of uh, good word in on these guys, and uh, uh, we set up an arranged war with them. Um, but this is them, uh, they have 214 wins, I think altogether that they only have like 20 something losses if I remember correctly, uh, but they have, uh, just over 200 wins, uh, entirely full, uh, good clan here, these guys, uh, they definitely know their business, uh, I, as you can see, I mean, it's in Austrian, um, they know how to speak English, you know, uh, for, for those that aren't overseas, uh, that are, are US based uh, but uh, for the most part a lot of it's in here is uh, Austrian um, but that I mean that neither here nor there uh, these guys are, are pretty solid in their attacks they're pretty solid in their bases uh, and just an all-around uh, offensively strong base uh, I mean I, I, I don't I can't speak Austrian I don't necessarily know what they're saying but it, uh, I mean, their chat log is usually, you know, pretty packed, um, and uh, I know they use a third-party app. I don't remember what it was called, but they do spend a lot of time uh, planning their attacks on it. So uh, I'm going to get into this last war they had after showing you guys their war log uh, with the with the replay, knocking out all uh, with the update. I'm sorry, knocking out all the replays. Uh, I only have a very few to show you. I missed out on one of them. Uh, I would stay longer, uh, so that way I, I could show you guys the Town Hall, uh, the Town Hall uh, 11s. Uh, I can only show you one here. The other one got knocked out, but like I said, we haven't arranged war with these guys, uh, so I kind of wanted to get in, uh, get some, you know, get some good footage for you guys. Uh, and bounce out so that way they can start preparing their bases for the scrimmage um, So, you know, let me jump right into it. Uh, they're number three uh, Coming up to take on their number two. I wanted to show you this uh, Really, I, I'm, I think that new that grain warden. Uh, I think that that is that could be a very Useful uh, Tool I mean, I, I obviously, you know, I'm, I'm still at town hall nine so I don't have a lot of, uh, I guess, you know, history with that. I don't have a lot of experience with the Grand Warden. Uh, I don't see too many 11s. We have one, uh, and, I mean, just overall it's pretty cool. But I think uh, for a Town Hall 10 coming up on top of everything else a Town Hall 10 has, when uh, a Town Hall 10 comes up and grabs a 2-star, now on the Town Hall 11, uh, I do have a little bit more respect because it's not just the Grand Warden they're dealing with. It's this new Eagle artillery thing. Uh, that, I don't know. It looks cool. It sounds cool. Uh, I guess it does a lot of damage. Uh, but it's definitely uh, it's definitely a, de a big step up for a Town Hall 10 to jump up and grab the 2-star on a Town Hall 11. Uh, so he, I mean, he, he lures the CC over here. He does the old... Uh, two archer in the bag trick uh, with an, uh, two archers and a healer keeps that hound completely secluded from uh, any type of his heroes wandering off and locking onto it and then he just uh, earthquakes into the core of the base uh, and then from there I mean he just fights his way in and he you know he's able to grab that two star uh, but again I, I wanted to capitalize on this he's uh, he's Almost got maxed out Archer Queen, but he still has a level 30 uh, Barb King here. Uh, I mean, nonetheless, he, I mean, he grabs the two here. He jumps up. Uh, still very impressive here. So, uh, Claudi Claudio, uh, I think I'm saying that right. Uh, good job, bud. 
Well, 2x this. There's the 2 right there. And there we go. Helm pops. Raids over. Uh, the next the next attack I wanted to show you guys, uh, those I can't see, uh, number 6, uh, dropping down to the number 9, Lord Nicholas. Uh, and he comes in over here. He's going to hit uh, hit this base with a Goa Loon. Um, it's, this is a very similar base. Uh, I mean, I, I don't remember the name of this base. I, th I think it's the General or something like that. Uh, but we see this base so often where uh, he's got, the, the base will have a Tesla uh, and, and two of the side compartments and double giant bombs in the other. Obviously, we can tell where the double giant bombs are. And this here at, at about the, the 5 and the 10, 11 o'clock position, um, the wizard towers, there's just not enough room in there for a double giant bomb. So he makes this base just way too easy to raid. So he clears a wide funnel coming from like 2 to almost 6 o'clock. Uh, just sends him straight down the middle. Archer Queen is still hanging back. She's taking out a lot of defenses. He's going to go ahead and cloak her here. Um, and there she goes. Takes it out. In comes the, uh, the hounds for the La Loon. Uh, he's going to slowly bring those those loons back up in there, but everything's focused on that hound right now so that queen can get in there, take a couple more trash buildings out, um, and then in comes the uh, the balloons. He's going to keep that, uh, that synchronous uh, counterclockwise motion going, uh, and I mean, he just wrecks this base here. Um, I'm not, the, I, I don't know, I'm not necessarily a fan of the slow slow entry on the loons. I like getting them in there quick. Um, Chief Lalo, he's one of our La Loon experts uh, that we all learn from. Uh, he's definitely uh, a stickler on it. It's better to get them in there than to get them powered up. So, uh, and, and uh, you know, that's picking at the nitty right there. Uh, I mean, he absolutely crushed this base. He's got uh, upwards of what? I'd, I'd say somewhere around 10, 10 to 12 balloons left over for cleanup. So, uh, Nicholas did a good job. Only thing I would recommend is dropping a haste, uh, maybe a rage, you know, depending on on the defenses that that it, that it's entering at. Uh, but definitely work on trying to get those balloons in there quicker. Uh, but overall, you know, great job, Nicholas. With this, he's a, he's got a swag poison left over too. So I think he's gonna save that one. Yeah, he doesn't drop that one. But uh, there's the three from Nicholas. Uh, I think that one's not. It was this one. So Caffey, uh, he jumps straight across the board. Uh, he hits with a uh, with a shattered goho, and uh, quite similar. Um, a very similar base. You know, a couple differences here and there, but overall, uh, I mean, you can very easily see uh, where this guy has his double giant bombs. Uh, not a very good base, guys. This is why you don't want that. Uh, I mean, that that forum base. You can, you know, if you Google search Clash of Clans bases, it's one of the first ones that pops up. Don't use it. Uh, and this is why, if, you, if you're facing a decent clan um, that knows how to spell Hog Rider, they're going to three it anyway. Uh, there's just, it's inevitable, so uh, I mean, get a little creative. Um, try, and, try and spread your wings a little. Get those, those anti-three-star bases out. Uh, these forum bases just aren't cutting it anymore nowadays. Uh, so uh, he does actually wind up losing a couple Hogs uh, to a double giant bomb. He expected that. Uh, but he saved, I think, like uh, uh, seven or eight hogs on the back end. And uh, he was able to just get those guys in there. He, like, he's got a double heel swag right there. And uh, he just gets them in on the back end and just destroys this base for the three. So uh, great job, Caffey. He actually, uh, I think it was him. No, it was Simon. Simon actually had a six-star war. Uh, he took out 14, 14 and 11. Um and then my last, no, that wasn't it. Uh, my last one was Lord Julian. Um, he comes in, uh, unfortunately, you know, just another uh, another forum base, one that's very uh, 
repetitive. It's it's very easy to read these bases. So he comes in uh, up here, ten o'clock, with the uh, with the shattered goho again. Uh, still, if you ask me, I think that's you know absolutely the most powerful uh, powerful attack for a town hall nine, either you know shattered, cold blooded, or uh, stoned, depending on the base layout. But goho hands down uh, strongest. Uh, strength, strongest attack for a Town Hall 9. Um, you know, we, we have another guy in the clan, Xandir. Uh, I mean, he's got 15, 15 heroes, I think. Maybe 16. Uh, but, I mean, he, he knocks out, you know, 20, 20, ba 20, 20 hero bases uh, with Goho. So, uh, I will, you will never hear me badmouth the Goho. And, I mean, he just wrecks this base here. He gets a, a huge section of defenses taken out, and he just sends in a group of mass hogs. A uh, little Asian wall going on right there, and he just devastates this base with like 20-something hogs here. Um, but again, I mean that's what you get when you know when you when you post a, a form base on your on your war base. Uh, it's gonna get wrecked. So uh, he does a fantastic job here. He's got. Uh, I think five five more defenses left. Yep, uh, and just too many hogs for this guy to stand a chance. Uh, that, I mean that Wiz Tower is taking a beating on him, but they'll last long enough. They'll be okay. And down goes the Wiz Tower, right about there. Uh, and then you know it's all over, but the crying from here. So I uh, will two all four X's so you guys can see the three. You got that little gob beating on the wall. And there it is. So, uh, that's the clan, fellas. Uh, these are the guys that Invicta is about to war starting tomorrow. Uh, pure, pure back. Uh, pure back. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it, but uh, Austrian clan. Um, solid attacker. Solid, solid attacker. So, uh, wanted to get in and get you guys these uh, uh, these guys the exposure that they deserve and uh, hopefully you guys can check them out um, I will uh, when I have more you know a little bit more time to settle down with these guys uh, I'm going to see uh, where their their uh, recruiting their uh, feeder clan is uh, so that way if you guys did want to join you can try out for them and uh, um, that's it fellas until next time thanks for watching